With 14 weapon types on offer, Monster Hunter Rise gives players numerous ways to take down their prey. If you're feeling overwhelmed by choice, here's a closer look at each weapon in the game. The slow but heavy-hitting greatsword is perfect for dealing massive damage. Charge and release to perform a charge slash. The longer it's charged, the stronger the attack. Activating power sheath temporarily boosts attack power. So get airborne with the hunting edge silk bind attack and follow up with plunging thrust for a devastating blow. Are you ready? The sword and shield is good for defense, but also boasts two damage types. Cut from chop and slash attacks and blunt from the shield. Quickly reach a monster and propel upwards, then strike down with the Falling Shadow Silk Bind attack, or swing your blade around ferociously with the aptly named Windmill. Guard with the shield to minimize damage, and take advantage of being able to use items without having to sheath your weapon. What the Lance sacrifices in mobility, it makes up for in reach. Strike with precision, or cover a larger area with the chargeable wide sweep. Use the accompanying shield to guard against incoming blows and strike back with a counter thrust. Twin Vine attaches the tethered kunai into the monster, allowing hunters to quickly close the gap with a leap, while Anchor Rage absorbs damage to power up regular attacks. It's all over for you. Hunters can deal large amounts of blunt damage with the hammer, so it's ideal for stunning enemies and breaking off horns and other monster parts. Devastating charge attacks like the charge side blow, upswing and big bang are activated by storing up power. While charging, use charge switch to access variant charge attacks. Both powerful silk bind moves, the airborne spinning bludgeon and impact crater are guaranteed to give monsters a headache. This two-in-one weapon transforms from an axe into a sword. As an axe, attacks fill the switch gauge. Once full, morph into the sword and attacks will have added effects from the weapon's file type. Keep attacking to reach its amp state, indicated by the glowing sword icon, and unleash a destructive elemental blow. Invincible Gambit is a spinning silk bind attack that makes hunters immune to being knocked back, while the switch charge quickly regenerates the switch gauge, enabling you to enter sword mode faster. The Insect Glaive is made up of two parts that work together to boost player attributes and chip away at a monster's health. Vault into the air and perform melee attacks with the Glaive, and send out the Kinsect to harvest extracts from monsters. There are three types. Red boosts attack, white gives speed a bump, and orange increases knockback protection. The colour extracted depends on the part of the monster it's harvested from. This weighty run-and-gun weapon type has three charge levels that deliver powerful shots. Check your hunter's notes to see which ammo types exploit a monster's weakness. Fire at a monster, then quickly reposition with the Silk Bind Glide. You can absorb an attack and retaliate with counter shots and make the most of an opening by shooting with the Bowgun Special Ammo. Operating broadly the same as its heavy counterpart, the light bow gun is more nimble and shoots faster. Use the same silk bind glide to close the gap on a foe, then follow up with a powerful close range attack. Alternatively, jump over them and shoot from above with the fanning vault. Fight like a samurai with the longsword. Perform regular attacks to fill the spirit gauge and unleash spirit blade attacks. Use Special Sheath after landing a blow to execute a severing Eye Slash, or use Eye Spirit Slash to counter. The Silk Bind Soaring Kick can be paired with either the Plunging Thrust or Spirit Helm Breaker to maximize damage. Take a hit while in Serene Pose and you'll strike back. The dual Blades are ideal for fast and furious combat. Entering Demon Mode lets hunters move faster, strike harder, and evade quicker but doing so gradually depletes the stamina bar. Attacking in demon mode fills the demon gauge. Once full, switch to arch demon mode to enhance your regular moveset while active. Use piercing bind to lodge an explosive kunai into the enemy, which then detonates, or execute a forward spinning attack if you're hit while performing shrouded vault. The gun lance is a long-reaching melee weapon and a gun that doesn't rely on your ammo stockpile. Follow up thrusts and slashes with shell attacks like the Worm Stake Cannon or the explosive but slow Wyvern's Fire. D 
deal cut damage and reduce the cooldown time of Wyvern's fire by slashing with Hail Cutter. The Gun Lance dulls quickly, so regenerate weapon sharpness by perfectly timing Guard Edge when defending an attack. The Hunting Horn is both a support weapon and a blunt damage powerhouse. Activate melody effects by attacking and playing note combinations to buff you and any nearby allies. Additionally, line up three different notes to unleash a magnificent trio, which triggers all melody effects. Once the horn gauge is full, follow up with Infernal Melody to temporarily boost attack power. In addition, the Earth Shaker Silkbind stabs a blade into the monster and follows up with a booming sonic attack, while the slide beat initiates a ground-based spin move. Split into two modes, Sword and Shield mode and Axe mode, the Charge Blade is powerful but tough to master. Use sword attacks to build up energy, then use that energy to charge files and perform powerful elemental moves in Axe Mode. Performing elemental boost improves Axe Mode's power, while entering sword boost mode stops attacks deflecting. Use the Morphing Advanced Silkbind attack to switch between modes smoothly. The bow excels at ranged combat, letting hunters fire off arrows quickly or pull and hold the drawstring to charge shots. Use Arc Shot to buff allies, Focus Shot to evade and quickly recover stamina, or the Herculean Draw to increase attack power for a short time. You can also apply coatings to arrows to add effects and make the most of a monster's weakness. All of these weapons are stashed in your item box at Kimura Village when the game begins. If you're about to embark on your first hunt and want some useful tips, check out our beginner's guide to hunting monsters here on IGN. Are you ready? Yeah!